How's your egg? I'm eating a boiled egg in the car, and it's a sunny day. And we're heading to Salem. First of all, that's our first stop on the road trip. Home of the Salem Witch Trials. Mm. And then we're going to Rockport, which is... Is that home to anything? A movie was filmed there. I'm a driver, I'm a winner. I'm a driver, I'm a winner. Things are gonna change. I can feel it. So, we are pulling into our first pit stop, and Sarah managed to spot a sign that said IHOP, and is now probably regretting it, because I freaked out and was like, we have to go to IHOP, uh, because it's one of the only American chains that, we, that I haven't been to. Sarah can't eat pancakes, I don't think, because she's vegan. I'm gonna have a pancake and a cup of coffee, and hopefully we'll get something for Sarah, but I'll be quick. And I'm really <laughs> excited about it. <laughs> you join us at the International House of Pancakes, where I'll be ordering blueberry pancakes. I've just found out that the coffee but the coffee I've ordered is bottomless, or as they call it, never empty. I'll check back in with you later. So how was it? Okay, let's walk and talk. Mm -hmm. So, I thought that IHOP was actually what I was expecting. Don't worry, I'll tell you if you crash into anything. Um, it was really stodgy and really sweet, and there, were, there was like just too much food. I've got a funny photo or video to show you of the bathroom. There was a urinal and a toilet right next to each other. <laughs> Who's gonna use that toilet? <laughs> Every single logo along this whole strip is red. And there is a doggy! <laughs> that one's not red. The Pepsi one? No. The PCX. Well, they're smart because now they stand out a bit more. Really not to you. I think they're all red, don't you? So we're in Salem, Massachusetts, right now playing uh, our second mixtape that we made. The first one had a bunch of classic songs in it from me, and, uh, and now we're playing some, some of the more fun stuff from Sarah. Woo! We just went to a cafe, as recommended by Sarah's mother, Nora, called Derby Joe, and it's in Salem, and it's run by this guy called Dan. And we were recommended it on the basis that Dan has really strong political opinions. Sarah was like, hey, so when my mom and Steve were in here, you know, they said that they had a bit of a political conversation with you. Do you, do you mind telling us about that? And we talked about that for a, a long while, talked about politics. Can I get it in the morning? It's been a good day so far. High five. <laughs> no, no, you just, you just have it with you. Mm -hmm. You join me in the back seat. And Sarah in the front seat. And my feet out the... What's it called? Sunroof? Sunroof. We're having a break. From each other. Come on, taxi driver, I don't have all day. Chop, chop. Jeremy? 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 No, I can't even do it. Jeremy? Go. Hey, what are you up to down there? We're gonna get struck by lightning, we should leave. Come on, let's go. We've stopped in Essex, Massachusetts to go to Woodman's and get a lobster roll. This place was recommended to us by Dan. 
Yeah, I'm really man. looking forward to it, and I hope we get something. <gasps> That's crazy. <gasps> it, if you, you know that a car is the safest place to be in a thunderstorm? I didn't know that. So you can drive away from it. <laughs> uh, Narrow. A few days ago, it said that today <laughs> we're gonna go That's get to lobster me. rolls. Correction, I'm gonna go get lobster rolls. I eat meat. Sarah here is a vegan. Uh, hopefully, we get us something nice. I really hope so. So, Orson is trying clam chowder. Proper, authentic New England East Coast clam chowder. Um, it's got, look at it, it's filled with fish. I think the term is pathetic fallacy, even though that sounds wrong. But it's when in a novel, the weather matches the general mood of the story. And so, you know, if it's a happy story, everything's going well, then it'll be a sunny day. Uh, and as soon as something's about to go bad, it's, it'll start storming. Sarah unfortunately hurt her neck. Um, it's a burning. And it's raining, so, you know, in, in a sense, we're experiencing a little bit of a pathetic fallacy. There is a big, what, what do you call it? The old, the old stars and stripes? The old red, white and blue? Welcome to Sarah's street at sunset. This is the street she lived on. Uh, how old were you when you lived on this street? Seven to 13. I think it's really pretty. That was my house. Wow. 35 wow. Street. Look at that, that's amazing. There's greens in there. That little patch of sky. Wow. Greens in there. Deliver us a rain of day. Deliver us bruise. Deliver us good. That's all we need. Pray for the parents. No, I'm in need you now. I'm a driver. I'm a winner. to you Wait, why you don't keep compliments is, in the fridge. This is my video. You let me talk. I ask you questions. So Orson and I are back from our day in the car. There were some ups and there were some downs. But now we're home and we are both tired and happy and we're going to be eating food. And Orson thinks that hot sauce does not need to be in the fridge, and I believe him, but he really wants to share his reasoning, so I'm going to let him. If Sarah believes me, that's good enough for me. I would like to know why. When you go to a restaurant, where are the condiments? On the table. They're on the table, and they're there all the time, be it mustard, hot sauce, what have you. Now that's because condiments don't go off that quickly. They really don't. Have you ever gotten a sandwich from a fridge at a supermarket? Let's say a Tesco, something like that. It's pre-made, made that morning and then put in the fridge. It tastes less flavorful than when it's fresh. And it's because it's been put in the fridge. If you then take that sandwich and leave it on your desk for an hour and let it cool down and get to warm temperature, it's going to be more flavorful. The same goes for condiments. Had this hot sauce been on a shelf and not in the fridge, I'd really be able to taste the flavor.